Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're on into game number two in this best of three series. We're on Belshir Vestige Lee. Let's go ahead and introduce our two players in the top left hand corner. The Red Protoss player, who goes by the name Sauce. Or if you prefer, SOS. And in the bottom right hand corner, our Blue Terran player, who likes to crack the whip. It is Millennium's Forg, or 4GG if you prefer to call them that way. I don't know. <laughs> I just laughed at the idea of me calling the players Sauce and Forg for the entire commentary. Oh god, yeah, that's not going to happen. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So last game, SOS took the victory uh, for an expansion, followed up with Forgate, kind of walked in and bopped. 4GG. We'll see if this game, 4GG decides to play it a little bit safer. Or if he's going to kind of stick to the same method, maybe get his uh, bunker up a little bit sooner. You know, uh, he does have a equally as big natural to have to deal with, you know, as far as the ramp goes. Um, you know, one of the key problems he had whenever he pushed out last game is, you know, he pushed out and he really wasn't expecting that many gateways. So when he got to his opponent's base, there was an army waiting there to kill him, and he was just on a full-on retreat without stim, just losing everything. And then by the time uh, he lost the majority of his force, the only thing he had left were reinforcements, and SOS was in full-on production mode, chronium boosting out those warp gates, and just dropping zealots and stalkers like you would not believe. One guess for SOS, so far looking the exact same. Might see a nexus out of him, and 4GG going with the gas. Low, gotta have Reapers this time. So Reapers for SOS, and of course, or sorry, Reapers for uh, 4GG. Well, of course, SOS will have uh, Reapers in a second, but they're gonna be in his base, trying to shoot up the place. And uh, where is he going now with this this probe? I guess he's just heading back home. Taking the right-hand route. 4GG's gonna drop down a natural. Expansion is natural. Gonna mine a couple minerals first. Cyber next core on the way for SOS. He's starting to save up his money as well. It's about 300 minerals, so we're going to have to see a Nexus go down there. Zealot is out for SOS. Nexus goes down. Reactor goes up for our Terran player. The Reaper will come in here. Um, you know, he's got two options. Go and try and kill some probes or kill that Zealot. Obviously, killing probes is the better end of the bargain here. But if the zealot comes and starts uh, being quite annoying, then he's going to have to deal with that. But nevertheless, Mothership Core is out. That's going to stop this Reaper from getting free shots on the probes. But nevertheless, he already has two kills, which is kind of impressive. SOS saving one probe up there at the top. I'm kind of surprised he lost two uh, workers, two probes, to uh, the single Reaper. Trying to poke back in there. Sees the Mothership Core. Going to go for the uh, reach around. Going right past him. Going right past the Mothership Core. He doesn't see it. He's going to go in here and get a couple more kills. Well, how many kills is this Reaper going to get? Uh, he's got two. He's going to get a third one. The third one. Nope. Nope. He's actually pulling the probes this time. Yeah, he gets the third one. There we go. The Mothership Core quickly retreating back to the main. He scouts out the Stargate, so he knows he's going to have to deal with some more kills here in a little bit. The Reaper just gives up. Doesn't get that fifth kill, but... Actually, I scratched that. There was a dead probe back there. There was a dead probe back there, so that's going to put him at four. Okay, but never mind. I guess uh, it was just uh, dying from earlier. So four kills there for the Reaper. Very worthwhile. Hardly ever do you see a Reaper get four kills uh, against a uh, Protoss player. This early on in the game. Widowmine's out. Marine's out. Command Center's going to morph on into that orbital. Start to pump out the money. So Widowmines, Marines, and Starports, this is looking like a Medivac, a Marine, Widowmine drop. Uh, versus, uh, of course, we had the Oracle being produced over here. But, of course, you know, as we saw earlier, he did scout this out. So, whoa, 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 no! Oh. Widowmine, that next level Terran defense, blowing up that Stalker. He didn't even see it coming. Well, he actually did see it coming, but it was a little bit too late. A couple more barracks being produced here. And we're going to see the medevac come out. There goes the medevac. And we're going to see double tech labs. So these tech labs are going to be used for both of these barracks. It's going to produce some marauders out of there, of course. And probably uh, 
produce a reactor there on that Stargate. Sorry, Starport. Now, the Oracle is right here. There it is. It's looking to kill some stuff. The medevac is just following around the Oracle. I love it. I love that play from 4GG. He takes the fight to the Oracle, and the Oracle is going to get one kill. Going to get a second one? No, not even going to get a second one. Great defense here from 4GG. There, actually scratch that. He's got two kills. And gets the third kill before getting taken out. So very rarely do you see a Reaper be more effective than an Oracle. But that was awesome. I love what 4GG did there. Picked up the Marines in the Medivac. Boosted with the Medivac. And dropped the Marines after the Oracle. That was very cool. I liked. I definitely liked seeing that. That was awesome play from 4GG. So Sauce. <laughs> Going to be up on four gas pretty soon. That's going to open up his possibilities. Will he take a third base? Time will tell. Forge is going down. Phoenix is out. Um, Phoenix will be out here in just a second, if not already out. Actually, scratch that. Three of them out. Fourth one's going to be out pretty soon. That's going to allow him to deal with medevac harass very easily. Uh, we may see 4GG um, uh, just kind of keep these medevacs at home after he scouts out the Phoenixes, because Phoenixes are a perfect defense for medevacs. Two more warp gates being added into SOS's main. Scratch that. Five. Going to go up here. Twilight comes going down as well, so that's going to give him blink and charge options if he feels like it. Setting a warp in his ult at the back of his base, uh, because why not? That's as good as place as any. Probe on the left, uh, just scouting out. Is he going to throw down a pylon? Yep, pylon on the far left side of the map. Good location to scout out medevacs to try to sneak into your opponent's base. But scratch that. 4G isn't a sneaky man. He goes right in the front door and says, Hello! You left the front door open. I'm just going to come in here, drop some Widow Mines, and throw some Marines down in your face. Come and get it, Stalkers. Come and get it. Phoenix says he warps in his ult right on top of that. He takes a shot from the Widow Mine. Actually, both of them, the Phoenixes are here. They pick up everything. All is well in the world of SOS. But he still has to deal with two Zell Or, sorry, he has to deal with two Widow Mines. And as far as detection goes, he can make, yeah, he can make Photon Cannons. And that's it. He doesn't have a robotics facility. He's got a Temple Archives on the way, but that's it. He's just going to have to stay away from this area because this is a dangerous area. Uh, it's going to get even more dangerous right now when all these Marines show up. Oh, look at that. Going straight for that Mothership Core. That Mothership Core can take one hit there. Uh, now throwing down the Nexus Cannon, and that's going to cause uh, 4G to drop right outside the natural. But we have an attack over here. Looks like a couple Stalkers were, or sorry, Stalkers Phoenixes were going to try and pick off some reinforcements, but it uh, didn't go too well for them. Third base has a probe over there. Um, might be a third base pretty soon. We have 4GG throwing down his own. Uh, and Zealot's just being sacrificed to the god that is 4GG. Taking out those Widow Mine shots. And now we have it. Look at this 4GG going forward. Nice feedback on one of those medevacs. Marines with stim and combat shield just melting everything in their face. Uh, good control there from the Phoenixes. Getting three kills there. Taking out one medevac. And that's going to cause 4GG to fall back. He's going to come over here to the right. Scout out the third. See nothing's over there. And fall back. Feeling pretty happy that he's, you know, he's got map control. He's setting up his own third base. He's getting tech. So he's got to feel decently comfortable. He's got a decent amount of production as well, even adding two more barracks on top of it. Definitely want to have at least five out here at this point in the game. He's got double engineering base, so he's got possibilities to out-tech his opponent. His opponent's sitting on one forge. Two more gateways being added to SOS's base. Phoenix is once again trying to pick off some reinforcements, but it's not going to work. The Marines are just too good of a counter to those Phoenixes. For GG, moving in position once again outside the natural, but this time he has to deal with High Templar, he has to deal with the Archons, and Storm, speaking of that, look at that, doing a lots of damage, feedback going down on one of the medevacs, popping that guy, now the Marines feel a little more confident, feeling there's not enough Storm to go all over the place, uh, there's a lot of Zealots though, and uh, actually Scratch had a lot of charge lots, um, nice shoot and scoot here from 4GG, but if he's losing a lot of Marines for this, he's forced to stim again. Most of his army is at half-life. Medivacs have a decent amount of energy, but three out of the four are in red life, which is quite a bit of a problem. Phoenix is moving in position, kind of heading back to the main. Uh, Hellbats now brought into the play. It's been a while since I've seen these guys. Hellbats used to be the king of medevac drops. It was either dropping Hellbats or nothing whatsoever. Back in the days where you would just drop two Hellbats in your opponent's base and just kind of let them kill everything. Those were the days. Those were the days. Everybody remembers that. Even the Terran players, whenever it uh, bit them. 
So SOS uh, kind of reclaimed his position outside his natural. He's got Storm, he's got some Archons, he's got a lot of Zealots. Two armor upgrades, a third armor upgrade coming pretty soon. We've got a robotics facility being built here for SOS. Third base going up at the top right. Third base going out for 4GG at the middle right. Feeling confident with that location over there. Zealot trying to sneak in, do a little bit of recon, but of course he gets shut down by those Hellbats and Marines. Decent amount of Phoenix, or sorry, decent amount of Medivacs added to 4GG's composition. He's got enough to do, like, essentially a double Doom Drop with this many Medivacs. This is a seriously scary force to deal with. But of course, whenever you split up your force, you have to worry about running into an entire army from SOS. Feedback's going down on just a single Medivac. Looks like he wasted a couple guys there. Zealot's being warped in. Um, not sure what they're being warped in over here for. Maybe to harass this third base that doesn't exist. Or maybe to go to the natural. Phoenix is getting a nice catch here. They're going to grab one of these medevacs. No, what? What? You guys can go in there. There's only like five marines. <laughs> they didn't know there were so many marauders and hellbats in there. He just would have went for it. So this time we've got SOS pushing out across the map. Going to go apply some pressure to the third base. Zealot's forced to retreat. Running with some hellbats and medevacs. Or sorry, medevac. Sorry. Once again... Marauders and Hellbats. 4GG scouts out the pylon, takes it out. That's going to stop any future harassment from SOS. Phoenix will show up at the third base, scout out. All that good stuff. Pops. And Zealots with no place left to run. Try to hide behind the minerals. But the Hellbats, you know, those guys, they just love killing stuff. They love killing Zealots. They love killing any light armored unit. And they all die very quickly. The so 4GG uh, is still keeping his army split up, keeping the majority of his forces at his third for defense and kind of using a small platoon over here on the left uh, to harass his opponent with. Hasn't worked out too well for him. He ran into the Phoenixes and there's still two Phoenixes left over there. He still has to deal with those guys. And two Immortals being added into SOS's army mix. More results being made here, more Immortals being made at home. And uh, even two Photon Cannons up the third base, so a decent amount of defense over there. Scan's going down. Going to try and pick off a High Templar. Is he going to get it? Yes, he does. Great trade there. Now, these two extra Hellbats weren't really worth it, but they show up anyway. Drop going down in the main. Look at this. A lot of Hellbats. Three Marauders, but it looks like the rest of the Medivacs got taken out. The Zealot warp in should be enough. We have a big force over here. Oh, the engagement's going to happen between the two major forces. One Storm goes down, but I think that's it. Actually, scratch that. Another Storm goes down. Doesn't connect too well. And at this point, uh, the High Templar are running out of juice. The attack in the main from 4GG did get shut down by SOS with a couple Zealots and Archon warp -ins. Phoenix is still on patrol. 4GG looking to make a move toward the third base, but it's heavily defended. We got Zealots charging it straight toward those Hellbats, Marauders, Medivacs forced to fall back. That is just so many Zealots. I think we're up to, uh, how many Zealots are we up to? 24 Zealots. He's got more Zealots than his opponent has Marines. Even adding a third photon cannon there and adding another photon cannon up here at the top of the ramp SOS takes his defense very seriously a couple zealots being warped in here look at this just one zealot being so annoying one down here at the third one here at the at the natural at the same time SOS is looking to engage he's got a pretty strong army he's got that three attack upgrade working out for him while 4GG is sitting on two attack upgrades and one armor upgrade 4GG splitting up his forces once again feeling Oh, uh, let's see if we can go for it again. Drop in the main. Is he going to try it? Nah, he's going to retreat for the time being. He's going to fall back to his third base. Deal with that one zealot who managed to do a decent amount of damage to that command center before it uh, started to upgrade into a planetary fortress. And uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have enough medevacs to pick up all these hellbats, but uh, there's a lot of zealots and a lot, uh, actually one high templar up there. So we'll see if that's going to be enough to deal with this. One Colossus is being added to the mix, uh, Colossus range being researched, Blink being researched, so SOS just slowly putting all the check marks on the Protoss tech this game as it slowly plays out. 4GG's quiet, got quite a sizable force here this is on the right hand side of the map. SOS slowly looking like he was going to take a fourth base, but that gets shut down due to these Hellbats and the Blue Flame. 4GG uh, still hanging out on the left side of the map, kind of denying that base over there, so limiting his opponent to three bases. Storm goes down on a couple Marauders and Medivac, or sorry, a couple of Marauders and Hellbats. And we've had one of the Photon Cannons going down, but we have an engagement over here on the left. A couple of units do get picked off there, do SOS this whole army, but the rest of them get picked up and they're going to drop in the main, but will it be enough? The High Templar moves out of position, and is he going to drop a Storm? There he goes, a good Storm on top of all that. And the forces are still in there, but at the same time, look at this. Oh my god, the third base gets completely destroyed by SOS's major force is such a force to reckon with. 
There's a decent amount of uh, units for 4GG in the main. He's going to take out some warp gates. What is he working on there? It's looking like, oh, he's taking out the Nexus. A couple more units getting warped in here. Uh, the majority of forces from uh, 4GG are falling back out of the third. He did take out that Nexus, so now he can fall back. He can work on that success. Uh, one Phoenix alive over here, and he can just take pot shots of these medevacs all day long because I don't think he's got... Does he have a single Marine here? He's got one Marine. One Marine isn't that too much to deal with. Whenever you're a Phoenix, you can kind of just shoot these medevacs all day long. SOS looking to get some revenge for that dead Nexus. He's going to make the play towards 4GG's third base. It lifts off. It's going to try and get home. But not that many Stalkers. SOS is just going to let it go. And he's going to fall back at this time. Third gate, third base being rebuilt. The Nexus the third for SOS. And 4GG with a couple Vikings in the mix. Looking like he's going to run up that ramp. But that's a really bad engagement for 4GG. And the Stalkers with the blink take out two of the Vikings. And now his Viking force has been cut in half. 4GG with the supply lead, 170 versus 167. Let's check the army supply, 117 versus 123 worker supply. 54 for SOS versus 51 for 4 gg So now with the map control, SOS feeling confident. He's going to go in for an attack uh, at the same time as he's taking that fourth base. Another Viking goes down, and uh, if he just continues to pick off these Vikings, these Colossus will just shred through this Terran army. A lot more production has been added to 4GG. He's added two more factories. With a total of three, he's got three starports, a couple reactors, and he added four more barracks, all with Tech Labs. Now with essentially a fully saturated and overly saturated third base. Look at this, okay. Scratch that, he's at 31 out of 24. He can throw down some gas there if he needs to, but he really doesn't need too much gas at this point. Most of it's minerals. Of course, those Hellbats and Marines. Plenty of Vikings being added to his army after he's, you know, has... He can produce so many. Look at this. Five starports. Sorry, sorry, five Vikings at the time. Uh, SOS throwing down a storm. And this is just a big battle royale between both these players. Stalkers trying to take out the Vikings. The Vikings taking out the rest of the Colossus. Zelts charging forward. Storm going down on a lot of these forces. And they're kind of weak. There's so many medibacks for 4GG. SOS is forced to retreat. He still has all his Immortals. He's got all his Archons. And he's got his Stalkers. And a single sentry with somehow the sentry manages to get three kills. Don't see that very often. The starport, or sorry, Stargate got depowered a while ago, so we're not going to see any extra air units being added in. Um, 4GG making his play. He's got the momentum. He's going to go in here. He's going to take out the fourth base of SOS. SOS really can't do anything about it. He's just going to sit here, defend his third base, cut his losses. So supply really, really favoring 4GG right now. 170 supply versus 132. He has map control. One Phoenix, four SOS being used to scout around. Only three life left on this guy with full shields, though. But going to be zero pretty soon. Vikings make short work of him. One Zealot versus the Marauder. We saw how that went last game. If you guys stuck around for the highlights. SOS is not to be deterred. Sets up. I'm going to start into the fourth base here, I'd imagine. And 4GG just, you know, shoving his weight around this map with all these Marauders and Medivacs. Definitely filtering out the Marines here. Uh, just make, making pure Marauder and Hellbats at this point. A couple Vikings mixed in there. Uh, robotics facility is still producing out the Colossus. He wants to keep those Colossus out. But at this point, you know, Mortals are uh, just as effective versus all of these Marauders that his opponent's been building. SOS playing back, playing defensive. Scan goes down. He sees what's up. Got a total count of five High Templar here for SOS with a decent amount of energy spread out between them. Still have yet to see any ghosts added into 4GG's army, which is, I think is um, you know a little bit of a problem considering he's been on four gas for so much of this game. He's got more than enough gas if he decides to take it. So, you know, it's not like he's a resource locked here um, into not making ghosts. And I really think even adding in just two or three ghosts to this army versus a huge Protoss death ball just makes ghosts insanely effective. And there's really not any reason not to have ghosts this late in the game. So I think that's a small mistake here from 4GG. We'll see if it ends up biting him later on in the game. So 4GG trying to, you know, run around the small contingent of Marauders and Medivacs and Hellbats. But fortunately, SOS pushes back, takes, uh, managed to do a little bit of damage there. 4G moving out, 
Into the middle of the map, Storm's going down on most of 4GG's army. Colossus coming in from a really good position. Charge lots being streamed in. Really great effectiveness there with those Zealots. Storm's going down on everything. And 4GG just, his army just gets evaporated. There's our mortals everywhere, Stalkers everywhere, Archons everywhere. What did SOS actually lose here? Maybe, I don't even think he lost any High Templar because those just guys just transferred into Archons. And the supply, 145 versus 4GG's 100. GG? The Protoss Death Ball is a force to be reckoned with there for GG. Wow. He just went straight up versus that Protoss player. Didn't really have the greatest splits there. The Storms landed on everything, and SOS's army just shredded that Terran Bioforce. And that's going to end this series. SOS is going to take it 2-0 versus 4GG. Thank you guys for watching. Check out more, more of my stuff at youtube.com slash Check out my latest Altus Life Armor 3 video where we recover a stolen Hemet from some random person on the server, which was quite funny. Follow me on Twitter at E-O-N-S-H-I-K-E-N-O. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you next time.